Hey guys, MC Red Zone Trooper here with part two of my AK Worlds Photoshop tutorial. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to this little T, which means text, obviously, and you're gonna select where you wanna put in your text. Now simply type what you want your text to say. And right now, if you're wondering what font I'm using, I'm using Malot, and I downloaded it from dafont.com. They have lots of good text and you can choose whatever one you want they have like billions probably literally and now just hit OK or check or whatever you call it and make it to zero and it already is so that's nice but yeah just make it to zero and that way it's in the middle it's up to you where you want it but that's what I'm going to do for this once you got that place down you go to this little menu here hit FX blending options and check mark blending and emboss and contour and make these anti a list both of them and it'll make it look way nicer and I use this uh, anti a list just when the edges are a bit more refined if that makes any sense and also these are all the settings that I use personally but you can make your own style and do whatever you want with it because you have like quite a few options here to do what you want with your text and desired effect and for stroke I'm not going to use it in this tutorial but basically self-explanatory just makes a little black stroke or you can change the color of it whatever it's up to you and there's a bunch of other options here but I go a gradient overlay select the bottom one here and basically you just can drag this and it'll make it brighter or you can drag this and make it a bit darker depends what you want can have it mixed but I'm just gonna make it like this and I'll put a drop shadow on it now you're gonna wanna set your opacity maybe a little bit up and your distance and your size and you'll get that so that's how to do very well here's how to do some nice 2d text but if you wanna get a bit more in the details and make it look a, a bit nicer it's going to come with a cost. It does take a little bit longer to make 3D text, but it's definitely worth it. So what you do is you rasterize type. And once you do that, you go to edit, transform, perspective. You hit control, shift, and you move the little arrow to the right if you're holding the left corner. And just hit the check mark. And once you've got that down, it kind of looks like it's in a plane, a 3D plane, if that makes any sense. And I hit Control J, and you're going to have a duplicated copy of your text. And see, there's two of them right here. You're going to take that below your first text, and you're going to set the effects off. And that'll just make it look kind of like this. I'll just show you here. Normal, plain Jane text. And once you've done that, you're going to hit alt and you can do this whatever way you want but I'm just going to show you what I do it'll work with any way that you hit your arrow keys so I'm going to go down right and you don't do this simultaneously and remember that you have to hold alt the whole time so down right down right just keep doing that probably going to get about 40 copies as long as it takes and why you go down right is so then it doesn't look all wonky when you're doing the 3D. Also keep in mind that the newer Photoshop, or the extended version I think it's called, will it already has a, t a 3D text effect in it, but mine does not. So just keep that in mind if you have a newer version of Photoshop, unlike me. And now just scroll down to your last copy of uh, your text hold shift and click your left mouse click and hit control E and it will combine your layers and once you've done that you can simply go your FX blending options and this is usually what I do I just make a contour both anti A list or A L I S. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it personally and you can do stroke whatever you want I'm not going to do that and I'm going to go a gradient overlay now and just hit the last one. You can adjust it how exactly you want it. I'm going to make it a bit brighter. 
or I'd like to anyway. Okay, there we go. That looks good. And oh yeah, I've never really showed you guys the options here yet, but you can do a whole bunch. Like if you don't want just a normal gradient, you can go to noise and make it look a bit different, unique if you wish. But it's kind of hard to get the colors that you want for this, but if you can, you're pretty lucky if you use the randomize anyway. And now just hit OK. And once you're there, uh, go to drop shadow, make a nice little drop shadow. This will just make it kind of look like it's levitating a bit off the page, and I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there you go. And if you want the text file to just be one single text file, all you do is you hit hold control, click your other text, and hit control E, just like it before. And now rather than having two separate files, it's just one big file. And you now you can do whatever ever you want with the text, and it's up to you. you and I believe that you can still further add stuff to it if you wish but see it's not going to be too easy like it's going to go across the whole text because it's all one combined layer so please keep that in mind once you're making your text so there you guys have it how to make 3d text in Photoshop if you enjoyed this video please make sure to comment rate and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out with your graphic art.